Why does place become so important? If where you are is where God is, then why does place become so important? That's always just been a question I've had. That's a, that's a great question. Um, you know, when uh, before the temple was established, there was really no one place for worshiping. And when the, the, the temple was established, it became one place. Um, the, most of the Jewish history, the Jews were not in their place. But spiritually, they were always there. And that is the glue that really kept them. We always, for 2,000 years, outside the land, everybody in Europe, in Yemen, and it doesn't matter where we were, we always faced that place. Now, the word place in Hebrew, hamakom, is also the name for God. So when you look for the place, you really look for God. And part of our proposal, and I think it will demonstrate what we're talking about, is um, God is always telling us throughout history is don't attribute to the physical place um, uh, the, uh, like it was really God, right? Don't worship the, the stones. But understand that the place, whatever you decide is the place, is a tent of meeting. So it can be a tent. It doesn't have to be the, the bricks, the stones. But the meeting is the most important thing. So it happens that this is the place that uh, God chose, history chose, the people of Israel, the, now the three faiths chose. But the place itself is less important than the meeting. And actually, there's a, uh, in Kings, when, not in Kings, in the, uh, Second um, uh, Samuel, when uh, David wants to build the temple, and he talks to the prophet and tells him, you know, I live in this beautiful home, cedar home, um, and God lives in a tent. I want to build God a beautiful house. And the prophet comes to him uh, with an answer from God and basically says, um, God tells David, who asked you to build a house for me? I'm happy living in a tent. The most important thing is that I go around the tribes and I, it's a, there's a tent of meeting. So we've attributed too much to the place rather than the meeting. So the proposal that we're proposing is that really the meeting is the most important. Um, there's a midrash, a story of where did God choose to put his holy of holies. And it's a story about a father who passed away and uh, gave his two sons uh, equal share of the inheritance. But one had a family and one did not have a family. And they both thought of each other. And they thought, one with the family thought, my brother doesn't have a family. He needs more money to take care of himself when he grows old. Um, and then the uh, brother without the family thought about his brother and said, oh, you know, I'm by myself. My brother has a big family. He needs more money. And they each took part of the inheritance and went to give the other. And where they met, God said, this will be my holy of holies. So the point is that we can move our holy of holies if we meet somewhere. So historically, this is the place, the, the Western Wall, Temple Mount, this is where we've been praying. So I don't suggest moving from there, but we have to move in our mind to say the most important thing is where we meet, not where the stones are.